Welcome to the JSC's Market Data Policy Guide. Our policies are designed to help market professionals and data distributors understand the use of each policy, emphasize the applicability thereof, and enhance the compliance with the regulations pertaining to the use and distribution of our market data. There are five documents which make up your agreement with the JSE. And they are JSE Data Agreement or Indices Data Agreement, the Product and Services Form, the Market Data Policies or the Indices Market Data Policies, the JDA, which is the JSE Data Agreements, or IDA, which is the Indices Data Agreement, as well as Related Price List. Finally, there might be technical documents, if applicable. In this session, I will be covering Public Display Policy. In this policy, we will cover the purpose of the policy, the key terms, condition, and public display fee waiver. The purpose of the policy is to provide guidelines in relation to the display of data on any public display device in a public area for promotional or for information purposes. Key terms. Public area is any area that is capable of being accessed by the general public. Example, wall board in front of the JSE foyer, a screen on the top or the side of a building. A public display device is a piece of equipment which is capable of displaying data in a public area where viewers are unable to electronically extract, transfer or redistribute any data to other devices. Examples of public display devices include display media like plasma screens, scrolling ticker displays and information kiosks. Television sets are also included provided they are part of a larger display example television sets in reception areas of companies. It is to note that websites and normal television broadcasting are specifically excluded from this policy. A public display user is a user which publishes data on a public display device. Conditions. The contracted user must control or ensure the control of the data that is provided to a public display device to ensure compliance with this policy. Data may be provided on a public display device as long as such data is provided by the JSE or an appropriately licensed contracted distributing user, which has paid all relevant data fees, including the public display fees, where applicable. The content displayed on the public display device must be structured in such a way that the data is easily distinguishable from other non-JSE data. The public display publishing user must comply with the branding conditions outlined in the attribution requirements policy. Before providing any data to a public display device, the contracted user must obtain approval from the JSE. The contracted user must advise the JSE of any changes to the content or location of the public display device. Neither the public display publishing user, viewers, nor any other third party may download, electronically transfer, copy, or redistribute any data from the public display device. Notwithstanding the provisions of the data agreement, the JSE may waive the public display fee if the JSE has given its approval in terms of the policy and the display device meets the following conditions. The display materially promotes the JSE, its products and or its services, it is intended only to promote the organization, service, or product and is not intended to directly support trading. The device used for the public display must be a public display device and be in good working order at all times. Thank you. For more information, please email mdclients at jse.co.za.